How's it going guys? I need to make a video about something very real that could affect the channel very soon. This could even bring down the channel in its entirety very quickly if I don't do something about it, and so I need to bring this to your attention immediately. It's very important. So last night I was at home, I was just on Twitter, and I realized a YouTuber I'm subscribed to named Lost Paws, uh, he got a strike on his channel, a community guidelines strike for sexual content. He plays a lot of visual novels like I do, like Nekopara, um, Honey Pop, Sakura games. He plays a lot of those. So he plays those kinds of games and he got a community guidelines strike for sexual content. And that's absolutely ridiculous because he censors his videos way more than even I do. I guess I've just gotten by pretty luckily, I guess, because I was looking through some of my videos and YouTube has actually manually flagged some of my videos for age restriction. You have to be 18 or older and there's no monetization on those kinds of videos. So those videos don't really help me in any way and they're age restricted. So I noticed that got put on uh, my Nekopara videos, a couple of them. It got put on some Honey Pop videos and a couple of Sakura Swim Club videos, which is very scary that YouTube has taken notice of my channel, yet I haven't even noticed that myself. That is absolutely terrifying. So anyways, he got a community guidelines strike. It's the second strike because he already had a copyright strike from before. And so he is prohibited from uploading for two weeks on his channel. He can't do anything about that for now. He has to wait for YouTube respond. And you know how YouTube is with that. They have all these automatic systems that go into place and there's just no one to really contact with immediately. Uh, and YouTube just doesn't have any immediacy with that kind of thing. And so that, you know, there's nothing you can do except just wait it out, wait for his network to do something, wait for his network to contact YouTube. And, and that could be a while. So what he's done right now is he's made a second channel. He's uploaded a video to it explaining what's been going on. I'm going to leave that in the description down below. I highly recommend you check it out because he has a lot of very interesting things to say about how YouTube works right now and what needs changing. I go and subscribe to his channel, show him some support because in this world of YouTube, we're all in this together and we need to watch each other's backs. It's very, very important. And I also highly recommend that you subscribe to his main channel if you haven't already, just because he's a really funny and entertaining guy. Now I need to talk about how this is going to affect me. It's just absolutely insane how lucky I feel now, because I've actually put intercourse into my videos where there's like actual sex is completely censored. If Noble, Lost Paws, is getting copyright strikes for you know, censoring himself and being really careful about that kind of thing, then that means if people took serious notice to my channel, I could be shut down immediately, just like that. My channel gone, kaput, Eric Van Wilderman gone forever, and there's nothing I can do about that. And that is terrifying. I completely disagree with this, by the way. I mean, when Outlast Whistleblower came out, everyone was playing it, big YouTubers alike, they were all playing Outlast Whistleblower, and nobody was really censoring it. And in that game, there is a scene where there's a man being laid down onto a table and there's a psychopathic murderer called the groom, I think. And he has a saw blade and he's literally, his job is to like mutilate genitals. And he takes the saw blade and he runs it right up their bodies and just cuts from the genitals like, and cuts their bodies in half. It is just, it's absolutely disgusting, horrific violence that shows everything. And that's okay for YouTube, but as soon as there is like cartoon sexuality, just a little bit, you know, YouTube just goes absolutely crazy. You know, like a nipple is just, oh my God, it's a nipple. What are we going to do? <gasps> do it for the children. Oh! Right. It's just, they go berserk and it fucking drives me crazy because there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a friggin' nipple. Like, holy fuck, calm the hell down. So there's a lot of horrific shit on YouTube. There's also a lot of like pornographic stuff too that's on YouTube. Uh, like I was actually taking a look to see if my Honey Pop videos were okay. And in some of the Honey Pop videos, there's a little bit of camel toe. It is the censored version. The uncensored version is just straight up nudity. But in the censored version, there's some camel toe. And I was like, damn, well, I got a couple age restricted videos because of that, uh, which I am um, fighting against right now, by the way. Because I didn't even know those had come up. It was weird. I wish I'd got like an email notification or something, but I didn't. So I was looking to see if Camel Toes were okay on YouTube. And like I see monetized videos in the millions that are all about like, Hey, I, I took some pictures of college girls' Camel Toes and shit without them knowing. That's like absurd, horrific, voyeuristic shit, you know, that's on YouTube. And that stuff's okay in the millions of views that's monetized. It's just absolutely disgusting. 
like real stuff, like not cartoon drawn that's taken without the lady's permission and, and it's camel toes and stuff. That is, oh, like it's just absolutely absurd. The shit that people get away with. It's crazy. And yet innocent YouTubers that are just trying to make people laugh like Lost Paws, he gets, uh, he gets slapped with strikes for it. It's just absolute bullshit. Absolute bullshit. So what I have to do now is I have to painstakingly go through all of my videos and I need to find which ones I need to alter. I need to delete, I need to edit them again, take out all the sex scenes and re-upload them, which are about maybe like 10, 10 videos in total that I have to do that for. And it's gonna be a huge pain in the ass. So I have to do that now. There's no waiting about this. My channel is in jeopardy to be deleted if people find out about what's going on. So I, I need to do this like now. I've already gone through my videos. I've changed the thumbnails of about 30 plus videos that I thought were a little too sexual. And uh, yeah, it was <laughs> took a long time, but now I actually have to go and change my videos, some of them anyways, which I'm gonna let you know which ones I'm gonna change. So the videos that are in question are on the screen right here. I need to change the sex scenes in Nekopara, which are episodes 9, 10, and 12. Sakura Swim Club sex scenes 8, 9, and 12. I've deleted the entire Beach Bounce series because there's just sex scenes everywhere in that. And I just, there's no way I can keep that on YouTube. It's too bad Beach Bounce is gone forever. That was 200k views, just gone. And there's a couple other playthroughs that have sex scenes, but because it's not like gratuitous sex, it actually helps to push the story along. I'm gonna keep them up and just hope for the best. Those ones are from Kara no Shoujo and Saya no Uta. They're visual novels I did a long time ago. So I'm gonna keep those ones up. And in Honey Pop, there are some questionable scenes, but there's no actual sex scenes. It's just the girls are in very sexual positions uh, with some camel toes. So I am gonna fight those ones if there's some age restriction on them. I will appeal them on YouTube and I'm gonna hope for the best, but I did change almost all of my Honey Pop thumbnails. So what that means is those videos are gonna be gone very soon. The Beach Bounce videos are already gone, unfortunately. Um, the sex scenes in those videos have got to go because the channel's in jeopardy. I mean, I love doing them and I love to give commentary on them. It's really funny and you guys really like it too. The sensors that I put in there, the way I react to them, uh, they're really good fun. It's really my style of humor. Like you guys know, uh, if you ever watch my anime, my top 10 anime video, I love Golden Boy and Golden Boy is just one of my favorite animes. Ever since then, I've had kind of like, I wouldn't really say a perverted sense of humor, but I like to make jokes about that kind of thing. It's really fun for me to do, but I can't really do the sex scenes anymore. I can still play games like that. I can still play the Sakura games and stuff, the censored versions of them. I can play the censored version of Nekopara. YouTube has this workaround in the community guidelines section where it kind of says like anything to do with sex can be removed at our discretion. And that's, that's terrifying, that line right there. If I just talk about sex or, or like explain a scene that's going on even with a black screen, they can flag that as well. And it's not just YouTube too. The way YouTube finds out about this stuff are that users will flag the videos and then YouTube will check it. So someone will be like, oh my God, it's a sex scene. This is so terrible. And they'll flag the video. And then YouTube with enough flags goes, oh, we got to take notice to this. And they don't even really thoroughly check on the video. They're just like, ah, there was an enough flags, it's kind of sexual, I guess, so age restriction, or if they deem necessary, strike, which is what Lost Paws got, which is ugh, just friggin' blood boiling shit. Like, I can't even believe that happened to him, that's such bullshit. He is like the happiest, honest dude on YouTube. He has so much fun with what he does, and uh, he just wants to make people laugh. It's such bullshit, it fucking pisses me off so bad that something would happen to a good guy like that. And it's kind of heartbreaking because I've gotten away with a lot worse, but just because I'm a smaller channel, I have gotten away with it, but I've got to change those habits right now. So I need to talk about something that's not just limited to the YouTube community guidelines, but I've been getting a lot of copyright claims on my Geometry Dash videos from music networks that uh, claim the songs in the name of like the DJs that the music networks provide for. And so because of that, some of my videos had been claimed. And while they are claimed, what happens is the music network, they actually get all the money uh, during the time that they're claimed. So you lose like all the monetization. And then if you do win uh, the copyright claim, 
then uh, the company still keeps all your money. It isn't like put into a side pool and then you get that money back later. They just keep all the money for it, which is a very big problem with YouTube because YouTubers are seen as guilty until proven innocent. And uh, I mean, this wouldn't even be a big problem, the community guidelines thing, if YouTube would let us know beforehand um, that they should, that they are going to give us strikes and then uh, they give us some time to like take down the video or change it or whatever. I mean, that would be completely fair, right? Because they'd give us enough time to react to that. We could set the videos to private and then just change it to whenever we can, right? We just, all YouTubers usually keep an eye on their email. So it wouldn't even be a big problem. Now, I've been really fortunate with the music networks because I've reached out to the DJs and I've reached out to the networks and I've explained to them that my Geometry Dash videos are with commentary and I'm not just uploading the level with the music so people could listen to the music and freeload that way. So I have been really lucky with that and they have allowed me to put the music in my videos, which is really nice of them. But that's just me being lucky with a couple networks. I know there are other music networks that will just claim your videos and they will have nothing else to do with you. They won't respond to you. So there are some things that you can do to help if you really want to as a watcher of YouTube videos. Um, there are some hashtags that are floating around, which YouTube are taking notice of actually, that have really picked up in 2016. And I'm going to leave them on the screen right here. You can jump on Twitter. You can go into the comments section because uh, leaving these hashtags, they really make YouTube notice. And also it really just helps to show that the users really care about the plights of YouTubers themselves. And so it's a really important issue for YouTube to take a look into. So the hashtags themselves are make YouTube great again. That's the big hashtag that a lot of people are using. And Noble, aka Lost Paws, has made a new hashtag called Protect YouTubers. And it would be really good if both of those were trending a lot because YouTube will um, take notice after some time. They have to if a lot of people are vocal about it. And so I think uh, this is a really great thing to involve everyone, not just the YouTubers, but also the users who are going to be upset as well that their favorite YouTubers aren't uploading content because of fear of copyright or because there have been strikes already brought down on the channel. So from now on, the channel does have to change a bit. I do have to be careful about the sex scenes, so there's no more sex scenes. I'll only be playing censored versions of the visual novels I'll be doing. I will not do any censors myself because that is just a recipe for disaster unless the community guidelines changes in some way. So no more scenes like that, no more reactions to scenes like that, just the visual novels themselves. But like I did say, I still can do videos like the Sakura games because the girls are in suggestive positions, but there is no actual sex involved. And so that's, that's fine. But some of the videos that I have on my channel right now, if they bring a strike against me, I can't win against that. There's no way to win. So I do have to change some of these videos. Well, thanks for watching. I just wanted to let you guys know there are no regular uploads today because I have to fix this. For the next 24 hours, there's going to be random uploads of some of my old videos that have those scenes taken out of them. So please bear with me. I know it's going to seem really awkward. Regular uploading should begin tomorrow, though. I got to get cracking on changing this because it's, <laughs> it's scary as hell. It's scary as hell being a YouTuber these days. I'll see you in future videos on the channel. As always, guys, peace.